Hey guys and girls, I'm back. I just wanted to share a little bit more with you. Uh, well, I can't do nothing with a high voltage coil right now because I kind of blew it up. But I do still have that high voltage capacitor and I've been messing with it some. And uh, Right now I'm going to give you a before and after on what this capacitor will do on those two transformers tied in series. And those are both my unbow or, uh, unchunted ones. So, here's a before. Quite a bit of power. Alright. I'm going to unplug it. Short out my capacitor. Now I'm going to unshort this and go ahead and hook it up through my high voltage capacitor here. Alright. Let me go ahead and take this jumper off. So now it's running through this big capacitor I made out of aluminum foil and wax paper. So let's go ahead and plug it back in and see what the arcs look like now. I'm kind of curious because I haven't really tested this myself. Oh, much better. Wow, that's nice. Still smooth. A lot of power on it, though. Definitely getting more out of those capacitors. Oh, and I popped it. But yeah, so evidently the capacitor will let it draw more through the transformers. My guess is it's way beyond zero point on the uh, transformer end. Uh, I was reading the dielectric strength on uh, wax paper, and the stuff's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty strong. It'd take like 12,000 volts per square inch or something like that before it has voltage breakdown. Yeah, I was thinking about going and buying a whole roll of that. And, but the problem is, is you got to find a way to feed it slow, or else when you hook it up, it's just like a dead short in the system. Too much. That's what happened basically with that. It was It was passing way more than line voltage, and basically it was trying to pump 40 amps through that little coil there, and a uh, little well, 1954 coil just spat its guts out all over the place, like literally. And I, the stuff is still all over my room, that dielectric oil. That stuff is nasty. Yeah, boys and girls, if you ever do decide to mess with one of these and use a light switch dimmer and stuff like I'm saying, make sure you don't make a ridiculous capacitor. you got to use something within reason. Honestly, these microwave capacitors here, that's pushing it. That's really pushing that coil. It, but when I hooked that capacitor there up, it, it straight just blew its guts out. It, it was trying to pump like 20 amps for it, and yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Anyways, just thought I'd share that with you guys.